11 days and 25 minutes. That's exactly the longest documented time of no sleep in the world. Are you interested in what happens to your body after such a period of sleeplessness? What does one see or hear after such a time? Are you interested in what insomnia does to your body? Sleep Deprivation Experiment Randy Gardner is an American man from San Diego, California, who once held the record for the longest amount of time a human has gone without sleep. In December 1963 January 1964, 17-year-old Gardner stayed awake for 11 days and 24 minutes, 264.4 hours, breaking the previous record of 260 hours held by Tom Rounds. Gardner's record was then broken multiple times until 1997, when Guinness World Records ceased accepting new attempts for safety reasons. At that point, the record was held by Robert McDonald at 18 days and 21 hours, 453 hours and 40 minutes. It has been claimed that Gardner's experiment demonstrated that extreme sleep deprivation has little effect, other than the mood changes associated with tiredness, primarily due to a report by researcher William Dement, who stated that on the 10th day of the experiment, Gardner had been, among other things, able to beat Dement at pinball. However, Latun Kimdri John J. Ross, who monitored his health, reported serious cognitive and behavioral changes. These included moodiness, problems with concentration and short-term memory, paranoia and hallucinations. On the 11th day, when he was asked to subtract seven repeatedly, starting with 100, he stopped at 65. When asked why he had stopped, he replied that he had forgotten what he was doing. After that, they conducted another experiment asking questions about himself, and he proceeded to get his age and race wrong, claiming he was African American. Gardner's sleep recovery was observed by sleep researchers who noted changes in sleep structure during post-deprivation recovery. After completing his record, Gardner slept for 14 hours and 46 minutes, awoke naturally around 8.40 p.m., and stayed awake until about 7.30 p.m. the next day, when he slept an additional 10 and a half hours. Gardner appeared to have fully recovered from his loss of sleep, with follow-up sleep recordings taken one, six, and 10 weeks after the fact showing no significant differences. Although if you don't sleep, you can have hallucinations, paranoia, bad mood, and you will be obnoxious. It is really little compared to fatal insomnia. Fatal insomnia is an extremely rare neurodegenerative prion disease that results in trouble sleeping as its hallmark symptom. The majority of cases are familial, stemming from a mutation in the PRNP gene, with the remainder of cases occurring sporadically. The problems with sleeping typically start out gradually and worsen over time. Eventually, the patient will succumb to total insomnia, agripnia excitata, most often leading to other symptoms such as speech problems, coordination problems, and dementia. It results in death within a few months to a few years and has no known cure. The disease has four stages, characterized by worsening insomnia, resulting in panic attacks, paranoia, and phobias. This stage lasts for about four months. Hallucinations and panic attacks became noticeable, continuing for about five months. Complete inability to sleep is followed by rapid loss of weight. This lasts for about three months. Dementia, during which the person becomes unresponsive or mute over the course of six months, is the final stage of the disease, after which, death follows. Clinically, FFI manifests with a disordered sleep-wake cycle, dysautonomia, motor disturbances, and neuropsychiatric disorders. Other symptoms include profuse sweating, meiosis, pinpoint pupils, sudden entrance into menopause or impotence, neck stiffness, and elevation of blood pressure and heart rate. The sporadic form of the disease often presents with double vision. Constipation is common as well. As the disease progresses, the person becomes stuck in a state of pre-sleep limbo, or hypnagogia, 
which is the state just before sleep in healthy individuals. During these stages, people commonly and repeatedly move their limbs as if they're dreaming. Egyptian Man, 2011, Netherlands timeline of an FFI patient, same as the one above this one. In 2011, the first reported case in the Netherlands was of a 57-year-old man of Egyptian descent. The man came in with symptoms of double vision and progressive memory loss, and his family also noted he had recently become disoriented, paranoid, and confused. Whilst he tended to fall asleep at random during daily activities, he experienced vivid dreams and random muscular jerks during normal slow-wave sleep. After four months of these symptoms, he began to have convulsions in his hands, trunk, and lower limbs while awake. The person died at age 58, seven months after the onset of symptoms. An autopsy revealed mild atrophy of the frontal cortex and moderate atrophy of the thalamus. The latter is one of the most common signs of FFI. Blue light. Light effects on circadian rhythm are the effects that light has on circadian rhythm. Most animals and other organisms have built-in clocks in their brains that regulate the timing of biological processes and daily behavior. These clocks are known as circadian rhythms. They allow maintenance of these processes and behaviors relative to the 24-hour day-night cycle in nature. Although these rhythms are maintained by the individual organisms, their length does vary somewhat individually. Therefore, they must either continually or repeatedly be reset to synchronize with nature's cycle. In order to maintain synchronization, entrainment, to 24 hours, external factors must play some role. The human circadian rhythm occurs typically in accordance with nature's cycle. The average activity rhythm cycle is 24.18 hours in adulthood, but is shortened as age increases. One of the various factors that influence this entrainment is light exposure to the eyes. When an organism is exposed to a specific wavelength of light stimulus at certain times throughout the day, the hormone melatonin is suppressed or prevented from being secreted by the pineal gland. This habits that can improve your sleep health. Make sure your bedroom is quiet, dark, relaxing, and at a comfortable temperature. Be consistent. Avoid large meals, caffeine, and alcohol before bedtime. Remove electronic devices, such as TVs, computers, and smartphones from the bedroom. Get some exercise.